Today we're learning how to divide polynomials using long division. Process. Dividing polynomials using long division has the same process with long division of whole numbers. These are the steps in dividing polynomials using long division. 1. Arrange the dividend and the divisor in decreasing powers of exponents. Take note that you need to insert zeros as coefficient of the missing terms of each polynomial if necessary. Number 2. Divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. 3. Multiply the partial quotient to the divisor. 4. Subtract the result from the dividend. 5. Bring down the next term in the dividend. And repeat the process until done. Find the quotient using long division. n to the fourth minus 5n cubed minus 29n squared minus 61n minus 18 divide by n minus 9. First, we need to check both dividend and divisor to make sure that the powers are arranged in descending order. So in this problem, both are already arranged in descending powers. So now let's set up the division problem. Our divisor n minus 9 will be outside the division sign. And our dividend will be inside the parentheses. We have n to the fourth minus 5n cubed minus 29n squared minus 61n minus 18. Now we need to divide the first term of the dividend n to the fourth by the first term of our divisor n. And this is of course n to the third power because you subtract the powers 4 and 1. The first term of the answer is n to the third. Now we need to multiply the divisor by n cubed. n cubed times n is n to the fourth. n cubed times negative 9 is negative 9n cubed. Now we need to subtract n to the 4th minus n to the 4th is 0. Negative 5 minus negative 9 is 4. So we have 4n cubed. Now we need to bring down the next term, negative 29n squared. And we will repeat the process. We divide the first term, 4n cubed, by the first term of divisor, which is n. 4n cubed divided by n is 4n squared. So the second term of the answer is 4n squared. Now we need to multiply 4n squared by n minus 9. 4n squared times n is 4n cubed. 4n squared times negative 9 is negative 36n squared. Now we need to subtract. 4n cubed minus 4n cubed is 0. Negative 29 minus negative 36 is 7. So we have 7n squared and bring down the next term, negative 61n. Repeat the process. We divide 7n squared by n. And this is 7n. So the third term of the answer is 7n. Now we need to multiply 7n by the divisor n minus 9. 7n times n is 7n squared. 7n times negative 9 is negative 63n. Now we need to subtract. 7n squared minus 7n squared is 0. Negative 61n minus negative 63n is 2n. And now we need to bring down the last term, negative 18. Repeating the process, we need to divide 2n by the first term n, and that is of course 2. 2 is the last term of the answer. Now we multiply n minus 9 by 2. n times 2 is 2n. Negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. And now we subtract. 2n minus 2n is 0. Negative 18 minus negative 18 is also 0. So there is no remainder, and the answer is n cubed plus 4n squared plus 7n plus 2.
Find the quotient using long division. 24x to the 4th minus 30x cubed plus 3x squared plus 24x plus 6 divide by 6x plus 3. First thing that we need to do here is to check both dividend and divisor to ensure that they have decreasing powers. And in this problem, the terms are already arranged in descending powers. So now we will set up the long division. Our divisor is 6x plus 3, and we will write that outside the division sign. Our dividend will be inside the division sign. So we have 24x to the 4th minus 30x cubed plus 3x squared plus 24x plus 6. Now we need to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of our divisor. And that is 24x to the 4th divided by 6x. What do you think is the answer? 24 divided by 6 is 4. And we subtract the powers 4 minus 1. So we have x to the 3rd power. So the first term of the answer is 4x cubed. Now we multiply the divisor by 4x cubed. 6x times 4x cubed is 24x to the 4th. 3 times 4x cubed, we have 12x cubed, and we write that below the negative 30x cubed. And next, we need to subtract. 24x to the 4th minus 24x to the 4th, that's 0. Negative 30x cubed minus positive 12x cubed, that's negative 42x cubed. And we will bring down one term at a time, so we will bring down 3x squared. And we will repeat the process. Now we're dividing the first term, negative 42x cubed, by our divisor, 6x. What is the answer? Negative 42 divided by 6 is negative 7. Subtract the powers of x, we have 3 minus 1, so that is square. So the second term of the answer is negative 7x square. Now we need to multiply the divisor by negative 7x square. 6x times negative 7x squared is negative 42x cubed. 3 times negative 7x is negative 21x squared. Now we will subtract. Negative 42x cubed minus negative 42x cubed, that cancels out. 3x squared minus negative 21, that becomes 3 plus 21, or that is 24, so we have 24x squared. Now we bring down the next term, 24x. Repeating the process, we're dividing 24x squared by the first term, 6x. 24 divided by 6 is 4. Subtract the powers, we have x to the first. So the third term of the answer is plus 4x. Now we multiply 6x plus 3 by 4x. 6x times 4x is 24x squared. 4x times 3, we have 12x. And now we're subtracting. 24x squared minus 24x squared is 0. 24x minus 12x, that's 12x. And we will bring down the last term, 6. Now we divide the first terms. 12x divided by 6x, and 12 divided by 6 is 2, and the x will cancel out. So the last term of our answer is plus 2. Now we multiply 6x plus 3 by 2. 6x times 2 is 12x, 3 times 2 is 6. And now we subtract 12x minus 12x is 0, 6 minus 6 is 0. So the answer is 4x cubed minus 7x squared plus 4x plus 2. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.